This is a basic example for revision of double integrals. We're going to work through it in a systematic way and discuss uh, the solution method. So we're given a double integral here. We're asked to sketch the region of integration omega to redescribe omega in an equivalent but um, slightly uh, different form. And as a result of that redescription, to evaluate the value of i. Okay, so the first question is, well, why do I need to do something like that? Why can't I just integrate the integral straight away? Well, if I cover up these and work on the inside integral, try to think of an antiderivative of 2 root x e to the x squared with respect to x. Well, it can't be done in terms of elementary functions. So the idea here is to switch the order of integration. So instead of integrating this with respect to x, you'd be integrating it with respect to y. That's an easy integration. OK? So um, that's what we're going to try to achieve. Once we redescribe it, uh, sorry, reverse the order of integration, we can then evaluate it. OK? Now, like a lot of um, double integral questions, a good geometric understanding of the region of integration is required. Okay, it gives you a good um, uh, or a better understanding, so I can redescribe it if necessary. Okay, so let's talk about the region of integration. Now, the region of integration has these sort of functions, if you like, as bounding curves to the region of integration. So what I like to do is just sketch the, the curves associated with these limits of integration and um, derive the um, omega from that. Okay, so x is between y squared and 1 and y is between 0 and 1. Okay, so if I wanted to sketch in those curves, all I'm going to do is I'll sketch in the curve, say, y equals 0 and y equals 1. OK, y equals 0 is just the x-axis. Now, the curve x equals y squared, well, that's going to be a parabola on its side. OK. And the line um, x equals 1, well, it's going to be a vertical line. And actually, it's going to cut here. OK, so I've, I've drawn in my bounding curves. What I need to do now is actually find out which region we're talking about. Well, it's either this region here or this region here. Well, how do I do it? Well, one way is to say, OK, x is between two functions here. So if I draw a horizontal line, I can see that this horizontal line enters, I guess if this is the region, enters at this curve and leaves here. And that's exactly what we want. OK? All right, so you can see here that this shaded region, if I had this and I move it up and down the y-axis between 0 and 1, I'll trace out this entire shaded region. Okay, so that's a sketch of the, the, the region of integration. Essentially, what I like to do is just sketch the boundaries or the edges of the region and then um, choose the region appropriately. OK, so question two, redescribe your region omega in the following form. Now here, x1 and x2 are values. And 
g of x and h of x are functions. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to draw the same diagram just with a little bit of relabeling. Okay, so instead of x equals y squared here, I'm going to flip that and have y as a function of x. Okay, so this is the region that we're interested in. Now, up here, you can see I used a horizontal line and I looked, okay, when does it cross into the region and when does it cross out of the region? Okay, what I want to do in the second diagram is use a vertical, a vertical line. Okay, so where does this enter the region omega? Well, it enters the region omega at the line y equals zero. And it moves on up and it leaves the, the omega at the, at the line y equals root x. Okay, so that's part of my description. Now, let's just find the interval on the x-axis. If I move, see this vertical line, I want to move it sort of left and right. How um, far along the x-axis should I have to move it? Well, between 0 and 1. Okay, so if I wanted to re-describe my region now in the form that's suggested, it would be something like the following. Well, x is between 0 and 1, and y is between 0 and root x. OK? So now what I can do is evaluate i with the order of integration reverse. So this, this original form is um, too hard to integrate. So let's reverse the order, use my new description, and then I can actually solve the problem. Okay, so if I reverse the order of integration, so I keep the same function, but I now get my limits of integration from my new description. So the constants go on the outside, the functions go on the inside, and I reverse my order of integration. Okay, so just like any double integral, you work on the inside one first, so we want to integrate that inside integral with respect to y. So I'm going to get, say, 2y root x e to the x squared. OK, and when I plug in for y, well, the second term is going to be 0. And the first term, I'm going to get root x times root x. So I'll get something like this. OK? Now, we've broken it down to a single integral, so what we can do now is hopefully recognize that I've got the derivative of what's up here down here. OK? So I can integrate this to be e to the minus, uh, e to the x squared. Now, if you're not sure where that's come from, you can always make a substitution. You could let u equal x squared in here, okay, and integrate by substitution. But you should avoid integration by substitution. Use it only as a last resort, okay? Use it only as a last resort. 
So when I sub in here, I'll get E minus 1. 